Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the HJ Story um, Drawing Tutorial and Introduction. First of all, I really want to say that thanks to everybody for the support to HJ Story up to this point. Uh, it really, really means a lot to me and my wife. And um, today, um, in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to draw um, one of the HJ Story illustrations from beginning to the end and talk kind of talk a little bit about the overall process and just my usual gen, um, thoughts in creating um, each of the idea and maybe in the bit uh, in the middle you know I could answer some of the really common questions that a lot of people might ask about um, HJ Story. Hopefully you find this uh, video a little bit um, fun to watch just to kind of see how the process of the idea comes to be. So um, I'm going to start uh, this Photoshop, by the way. I'm not going to really go through the little every details of the tools, but then hopefully this will explain a little bit of idea of how I work. So in here, I have an iPhone setting. Um, basically, uh, this is a preset size that I set for all my HJ Story drawing. Um, you know, I noticed I put iPhone because uh, how this whole HJ Story started was I would draw a picture on my computer and then save it to my iPhone and send it to my wife. And so that you'll kind of realize that this size is basically the um, general size that um, I draw all my HJ Story in. So today what I'm going to do is um, I've been thinking of, you know, new ideas for, um, you know, what to draw for HJ Story. And today I'm going to try to draw something about thank you, you know, just something really simple, um, perhaps about uh, thank you. Usually what happens is um, when I get an idea for, you know, when I want, when I have a message that I want to portray to my um, wife, I just kind of think about, you know, the uh, obviously just a message first you know I just wanna you know I want to thank her just for being um, uh, just being with me just for be, you know just for being who she is and the, you know the idea of the mess the message itself is actually you know simple I have like tons of stuff that you know about how I feel and you know the hard part uh, for me sometimes is you know find a way to really portray it effectively because I want her to um, when I when she gets the message I want her to you know not just feel is totally you know corny and mushy sometimes it could be I know um, but I want her to actually just uh, kind of see it as a you know casual comic and so I want to find some um, you know really fun a uh, little bit uh, fun way to portray each of the message. So what happened is when I have a message in mind, in this case it's a uh, thank you, I usually daydream during the day or whatever I'm doing, I'm just trying to find some interesting way and um, how to portray you know, the message. And usually I probably would jot down all my ideas of what I want to draw and if an idea clicks in uh, suddenly pops in then I would um, write it into my you know notepad or or just jot it down in my iPhone and just uh, and do it later so right here um, I'm just gonna start off with a really uh, simple sketch um, one of the hard hard part for me doing a uh, HG story sometimes is actually keeping the character uh, proportion correctly. And even after drawing uh, so many times, I think I drew it quite a bit of time right now. I still sometimes uh, mess up on the proportions. So sometimes uh, each of the HG story, they're po sometimes they're taller, you know, sometimes they're shorter. So yeah. Um, for anyone else that's doing a uh, kind of web comic webtoon, I think one of the important thing is to really draw your character a lot so that so that um, you know you, uh, you, your your style stays somewhat consistent overall. So it's not you know it wouldn't be like one picture the character looks uh, one way and the cut another character the other character looks another way. So I kind of have this like general way that I usually start my HA story um, drawings. Yeah, you know, so I really these are really pre pretty basic, uh, simple shapes. Let me just see. Um,
here you go uh, and also I never really officially um, talked about it talked about it in the in my in the website but for the, how I kind of started HA store is um, because I can't really speak Korean a lot of people actually wonder has asked me on the internet you know exactly what ethnic uh, what what ethnic background I am and and you know um, they think I'm Korean actually and I'll, and to it might surprise uh, quite a few people I'm actually um, not Korean I was I was born in uh, Canada and my parents were Chinese and I actually came to Korea to work in I think six years ago seven years ago and I met my wife two years ago. Actually, I knew her for quite a uh, actually a, a while back, and I didn't start dating her until I think two years ago. And after a year of meeting her, you know, we decided to get married. Um, for me, you know, it's kind of true when someone says, you know, you just know that you know someone is the one. You know, I can't really say why I know I can't. I, I have no idea, you know, how to really express that feeling. Um, when I, a friend used to tell me, I was like, I never really thought I would get married, like, anytime soon at all. So I was t telling my friends, you know, so how, you know, how do you know, why, why are you married? Like, why did you get married? You know, and how do you know if they're the one? You know, sometimes, you know, you, you meet someone really nice and perfect. You just don't, you know, I just didn't understand this whole thing so he just tell me really simply you know sometimes you just know that someone you know is the one you don't really have to you know think of reasons you know maybe um, so I, I kinda just it's like okay I didn't really understood and then I, I was asking I was talking to a few people um, over the years and you know the, the few people that I met they had like totally different personalities and they actually all told me the same thing I think it was three people and they, they just said you know um, you just know they're the one you know they, there's no nothing to really think about or or anything so yeah um, I kinda jumped off the topic right here but uh, what was I saying yeah so basically so I came to Korea, uh, Korea to work and I when I was my Korean I learned Korean when I was um, when I was in Korea uh, in Korea I didn't really speak a word of Korean before I came so even that though now I could kind of speak and talk and stuff uh, just general general everyday type of stuff without uh, too much problem I still you know I'm still not like totally naturally flu fluent so when I was dating my wife basically I. I Basically, I sorry, I'm kind of zoning off. Um, okay, yeah, it's kind of hard to talk and draw at the same time. Sometimes, when I dated my wife, basically, sometimes there's a lot of things I couldn't really put verbally, like uh, just some some feelings I want to express, you know. Um, because uh, of my Korean, it has a little bit of accent, obviously, being not a fluent speaker. So sometimes, even if it's something really simple, just uh, um, just a tone of voice that I couldn't can't really express properly, it you know, it bothered me a little bit. Nothing like major, but then since I like to draw, so I was like, you know, instead of trying to really explain uh, this and that, you know, why don't why don't I draw? Uh, why don't I draw? And that's how that's basically how it got uh, how it got started um, with the whole drawing. So the drawing it used to be it used to be like really fast actually. It used to be just um, uh, it takes maybe like 15, 20 minute for for a little drawing. And then now um, as I as I start focusing on his story more and more, and because also because of uh, uh, everyone that can support support the HA story I really want this to be I really just want to do a good job on this and really just do a really nice um, 
as nice as I can the drawing. So it, the issue story I should take, start taking more, uh, more and more of my time. Sometimes drawing could take, you know, an, the shortest one probably will take me an hour, then the the longer one will probably take me, uh, you know, two hours, three hours, four hours, depending, um, just to get it right. So to kind of explain uh, what I'm trying to draw here, um, kind of duplicate this. Uh, the second pose that I have in mind is is a little bit um, since it's a really similar pose. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna use kind of the same same drawing for that. And I think up to this point, you know, um, for those watching this video, it's like, what is he drawing? You know, I don't even under, uh, understand um, understand what's going on in this picture. So I'll kind of explain that um, after I finish this uh, quick general s sketch. So maybe after I put in this question mark. Um, you might understand it uh, a little bit better. What I'm trying to portray is, you know, um, thanks for just being who you are. That's kind of the message that I kind of want to portray. Uh, so basically, is a kid walking over and is giving um, this girl a present for no reason, and he just walks away, and the girl have no idea, you know, what, you know. You know what just happened right here. You know why did I get a present? So to make it a little bit, a little bit more understandable, I'm probably gonna put in a thank you tag or something. Thank you, and I'll probably touch this uh, tag up a little bit later. So I'm gonna put this tag here. Have a layer. I'm just gonna um, paint the bottom so that it kind of show through. So I have this kind of uh, thank you tag. So something like that. And this is basically uh, how I would get the general's, uh, you know, sketch started. So sometimes, uh, especially for these um, two cut type comic, um, I want I really need to make sure the size matches. So I'm here. I move kind of move the character over, and I think um, for this one, the head could just be a little bit um, bigger. Maybe I could rotate it just a little bit more as well. Um, kind of give him that. Uh, Kind of, he's just, he's just la -di da just kind of walking, um, walking along and just hopping off uh, for the image. Let me see right here. So I'm gonna match it here. There's a lot of like little little things that goes into the um, H A story that. Uh, people might not realize maybe I'm just a little bit picky but I try to really make sure the size is um, uh, somewhat somewhat correct so for right here I think the top character somehow seems a little bit a little bit just a little bit taller it's pretty funny my wife actually always uh, sometimes jokes around and tell me hey you drew my head too big hey why why is your head like kind of less puffy than mine so, so ever since then I kind of um, start to, you know, start to just kind of follow the proportion a little bit more. So even here, I want to kind of make him like kind of hopping away. And so I want to really get the general basic pose um, nice and correct right here. So 
Well, he doesn't really look like he's hopping away. What? Ah, let me see. Okay, let's see. Okay, uh, I think uh, I think I'm good to go for uh, for this piece. So this is the overall sketch. So this is how I start with the um, general sketch right here. So I'm not. I'm gonna now lower the opacity for this. This is where I start to kind of clean up on the on the image, and this is probably where I would uh, zoom into this picture a little bit more. and probably start to uh, clean up uh, the sketches a little bit. Sometimes I, I spend more time cleaning up the sketch and sometimes I leave it a little bit more rough. Um, it really depends. I'm still really trying to, you know, every day uh, when I draw I see story, I'm really still trying to find a perfect way to you know, the best way to color it. Um, I'm still not, you know, 100% satisfied with how how it looks sometimes. You know, I want it to be. I have this kind of uh, vision of how HC Story should look in my head, and you know, sometimes the drawing just comes out really nicely. Sometimes it comes out, you know, not exactly what I wanted. So yeah, this is um, another reason why sometimes HC Story. I think when you look at it, um, things are a little bit different. So I'm I'm going to be uh, slowly cleaning up this uh, image for the next um, you know f uh, ten fifteen minute. So maybe I'll just talk a little bit more about um, you know just random stuff about this. Uh, actually, story I kind of uh, talked about it in in the website here and there. And for anyone that maybe like you know didn't really want to go back to uh, look through the you know all the history. HC story. Yeah, you know, I, I said that it started off with just me drawing. Uh, just me drawing uh, these simple uh, drawings for my um, girlfriend, which is wife now, but girlfriend back then, and I think for her first birthday, I just wanted to make something a little bit you know different for her. Uh, just you know, honestly, I, right now I don't know if, if it's because I wanted to make something different or I couldn't think of um, just what to get her for the, for her birthday present. And so I got her, you know, a really simple gift. And at the same time, I just thought, hey, let's um, let's turn all these little drawings into um, a little blog for her. Like, um, you know, she doesn't really uh, care to know too much about computer stuff. So I was like, hey, what if I use one of those uh, uh, really simple blog which uh, at that time I used Tumblr and I said hey I could really make a website really fast and I think um, it would be interesting kind of just showing uh, just putting all the pictures together in one place because I didn't even realize uh, what I didn't even realize was that you know after dating for a while and just drawing these random doodle here and there I have actually gathered uh, more do those than I thought. I think at that time I had like uh, maybe 20, 30, and it just, I was just kind of cleaning up my computer. And I was like, hey, um, kind of look, kind of look neat. I'm uh, just looking at at it, kind of put all together. So I decided to, um, yeah, make a make a blog for her, and I gave it to her. Uh, for her birthday, and luckily she uh, really liked it. You know, she was kind of surprised. It's like, wow, how did you make this uh, website? You know, she didn't really know about these blogging stuff. I guess she was never really interested in these uh, blog. But then uh, she really liked it, and because it was Tumblr, I think uh, what happened was I actually um, told a few of my friend, uh, a few of my friend, a really um, you know really close friend of. What I uh, about this blog? Just kind of was just it was just to share it to them for fun, 
and I don't really even know how it got started. Then it ha it started having you know one or two. Um, you know, it was a private blog. Like I didn't really send uh, anyone the link, or maybe just the uh, Tumblr itself has the you know has that feature of kind of helping you advertise the link a little bit. And then all of a sudden, it has like two or three you know unknown followers um, for this shit story. And after I was like, wow, who are these people? I w I didn't expect any type of activity on that account. Then um, after a while, started having um, you know 15, 20, and it just really um, got started from there. And I and even though you know it's um, you know it's a personal website for my, for my wife, uh, just the fact that you know there's um, people that seems to appreciate it and like it, I think it really makes uh, makes it all that much better. To kind of just to kind of just share what I'm, I'm thinking and just in general, it was uh, it was really interesting. So I think um, the fact that there are people out there that you know that you could that could feel connected to the through those little stories, it really gives me um, a lot of motivations to uh, draw these images. So what should I um what clothing should I give my give my wife? Let's see. Maybe I could give her a little cardigan. Sometimes the fun part of drawing a uh, HA story too is um I should draw in the clothing that we have. You know, for the for the pictures for for the character, there's actually you know the the little brown bubbly faces. There's actually not you know that much um, f uh, distinct feature that you know you could really tell is someone. Uh, but it's the clothing that really um, the person uh, looking at this. Uh, my wife she could definitely when she sees it she could probably definitely see um, which clothing I'm drawing. Because she'll be probably most likely wearing this the day before, or or just somewhere recent. So I'm kind of co correcting the proportion as I'm going right here. Sometimes people ask me why do I draw their legs kind of uh, so far apart. Um, yeah, there's actually not, not too much reason. That's just kind of how I started drawing at the beginning. Um, yeah, at the beginning it just kind of happened like that, and I just kind of got got into habit. So here is the basic um, basic. I'm slowly cleaning it up. Uh, this part might get a little bit boring because you'll be um, just seeing me kind of clean up this picture. So you could probably um, skip forward to um, later parts if you want to. Um, kind of want to uh, skip through the cleaning up. This cleaning up part is uh, actually really important uh, to to the drawing process. It, having a clean drawing, you know, it really saves me a lot of time when I'm um, when I'm coloring, and you're gonna really see um, what I'm uh, the reason for that. So here I'm. Uh, I'm kind of duplicating this uh, cleanup for here because I, uh, for the sketch I did, um, it's basically using a, a similar uh, layout, except that um, she has a gift on top. So I'm gonna kind of erase this part with uh, white and let me just see. And let me just see. I could actually, actually, um, I was gonna copy and paste uh, the present uh, from the from the first panel over, but I was like, ah, let's just redraw it. I have to erase this little hand, and maybe I'm going to erase this one. So she's kind of, she's kind of surprised um, 
you know, what is this um, what's this present doing here let me just move that Organizing the layer, and yeah, and, um, as I was saying, uh, from the website, some people uh, there's a few questions that I kind of get a, a lot. Is they're actually asking me if I'm in a long distance relationship, and nope, it's not a long distance relationship. I guess people uh, thought that way is because um, they see me drawing pictures, and so that. You know, I might may have this uh, give this uh, mis misunderstanding that um, you know I'm I'm really far away and just sending um, uh, sending her pictures, and it all really goes back to the fact that I, I probably I didn't really speak Korean, so some there was some a little bit of communication issue here and there, but it's not because um, um, we were too far away. So uh, getting back into the art just a uh, um, just a little bit, and uh, I'm still again I'm still working on on the sketches. I'm really down to the last character uh, right here. This uh, this drawing I think so far is working uh, a little bit um, pretty smoothly. Uh, there, a lot of times, sometimes when I'm just trying to get the sketches. Um, I end up like really messing up like it just doesn't look right and I just have to uh, kind of redraw the pose and especially sometimes um, if it's some really complicated pose and what I really complicated is you know they actually these two characters they have uh, really short arms so sometimes the um, poses just that doesn't really work for them for example any pose that requires uh, them having their their hands over the head like I just usually have to find some ways to uh, uh, portray it properly so that it doesn't really look like they have super long arms so sometimes you'll find um, the character they suddenly seems to the head gets a little bit smaller um, that's probably because I have to try to fill in the pose And a lot of the questions I get uh, sometimes uh, from um, people is, you know, they just uh, they they ask me, you know, how how did I draw that? You know, um, you know, how do you draw a uh, story? And there's not really, you know, any type of um, there's not really any type of secret uh, right here. Um, it's just. You just have to really practice. Uh, for for anybody um, that is uh, interested in drawing, I think um, as you just keep doing it more and more, you're gonna. It, it sounds really cliche, but it's it's, it's gonna. It gets get easier and easier. Uh, if you if you just kind of take a uh, quick look at um, H.J. story, actually, the drawings at the beginning. It's actually uh, I don't even really want to look at it anymore. The drawings at the beginning is really uh, is uh, the characters. If you ca if you kind of see it looks it looks kind of uh, messed up. Like the head is really big. I just uh, totally didn't care about the proportions and everything. And so um, yeah, even for me, uh, I think this is like it's been over like a year or two years. Even I don't I don't really know. Um, of trying the uh, HA story, it really helps me a lot um, in practicing uh, drawing overall. And yeah, practice just um, practice just makes perfect. Well, not perfect, but 
what I mean. Go. I'm just kind of, you know, over checking. Um, just doing a you know, quick last minute check. Of if this looks right, and let me just take a quick look. Um, I have to add this thank you card right here. So I'm gonna draw this, and then having this string gonna dangle maybe. right here. I'm going to fill in the uh, the text later on. So right here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, erase part of these uh, sketches uh, underneath that is really sticking out and just, I don't really try to erase all the sketches. Sometimes I kind of like to have these uh, little sketches tone um, just intact because uh, I think it makes it look, um, it helps with the general um, drawing and effect. So but then um, so I keep some of the area and just get rid of some of the area. You're going to later see that um, you know actually this this present it doesn't really seem to work properly. Um, what I'm going to do actually I'm actually going to crop this part out. I'm just gonna try to move the presence a little bit um, to a little bit of uh, different places. I'm gonna because um, I don't think the mouth covering the face uh, really fits this um, this too well. It doesn't read too carefully because you can't really see exactly what's uh, what's happening behind um, this present. So I'm gonna shift it to just her. Um, holding this uh, present in general. Here we go. Um, don't really have to worry about these uh, these layer cutting and everything that I'm doing. Um, basically, I'm just trying to shift the presence around. It might have been easier for me just kind of just do a quick resketch of the presence. So I'm gonna just kind of get her um, to hold hold this present, and she having this. Uh, really blank expression on, on her face, you know, what's going on here, right here. Okay, I think I'm, uh, I'm kind of ready to to do a, a quick coloring on this. And my wife actually just uh, actually just came by to kind of peek at my drawing. It feels so strange right now because um, you know now that we're married, sometimes when I just want to draw a surprise little um, drawing for her, she'll she would be seeing in the middle of a process and ruin the surprise. So that's why um, that might be one of the reasons you see a little bit of a s slower update when I'm doing um, a say story lately, especially when yeah, especially when. Um, She's around me all the time. I, I, it just feels too strange for me to be drawing each story when she's like, uh, right next to me. So I just kind of uh, group this together and I set the line art as uh, multiply. What multiply does it? It just um. What does it do? Okay, uh, what it does it it makes the line kind of go uh, underneath. So I'm gonna right now use the lasso tool. Uh, this is where I'm gonna start coloring this image. And 
I hope everybody's not just totally bored of this um, drawing tutorial right here. I actually have um, no idea if this tutorial or this video to a non-artist or uh, to the general average people will be any interesting. You might be falling asleep halfway. But either way, it just goes to let um, you know kind of how each draw drawing is being done. So what, what I'm doing here, I'm just uh, using the lasso to to kind of uh, select this um, uh, this character, and I'm gonna be filling it with a color. Let's see, and uh, color pick. Let's see. Um, there's generally uh, colors that I usually use more, but I could always come back and and just kind of tweak this around. So I kind of um, fill this in with a you know flat color, and I'm gonna be doing that for um, every single one of these characters, and I'll try my best to be a little bit faster so it doesn't really seem. Uh, too repetitive. And again, um, I just want to thank everybody for um, you know their support. This. Um, This drawing is actually kind of going pretty smoothly. And by the way, um, for uh, everybody that leaves their comment um, on the website for uh, HJ Story, I so also want to let everybody know that. Um, I do really, really appreciate. And I read to like all the comments and everything, and because most of the time I do it, um, I actually do it when I'm at work, so I can't really just reply to anyone, um, you know, directly one by one. But I try my best to, um, you know, reply through uh, emails that is sent to is sent to me. So if you want to, um, you know, contact me for uh, anything, or just um, just to say hi, or if, you know, if you have cool ideas of you know um, what to put uh, for the Love Is series, uh, definitely feel free to uh, send me an email and let me know. I'll be putting up the uh, email address and the website, this and that, um, at the end of this video. Now what this uh, lasso does is, um, you can see later, um, after I lasso it, I'm going to be creating a mask. Uh, a mask basically, it kind of, it kind of, what do you call it, mask away. I can't find the right word for this. Um, basically it locks this uh, area so that uh, when I colors uh, when I put color and rendering on top of it it doesn't really go outside of the of the uh, outside of the area so um, by selecting this uh, exact shape I don't really have to worry about trying to uh, color within the lines later so uh, I could just really block in the uh, general shape. And um, while I'm still coloring this, uh, it's probably, it's, I've been using, I probably what I have to say, I've been using Photoshop for um, you know, 10 years maybe, over 10 years I think, and I've been 
I've been drawing professionally for I think um, maybe seven years, eight years, nine years, some, something like that. So um, for those uh, artists that might be uh, looking at this uh, video and trying to um, learn, uh, it might look a little bit easier for me um, than it is for uh, those watching this video because I kind of, first of all, I've been drawing this HJ store for way too long and and I just kind of really got used to it so I don't really feel frustrated um, if, you know, if it's not coming out properly. So here I'm doing a little last uh, bits of erasing for for some of the lines so that um, the final version doesn't really look too messy. Especially on the face. I usually try to clean up the face a little bit. The clothing, you know, um, it should be okay. Here we go. Um, I think I have it generally set up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this um, control click this layer and select this uh, fill that I just did. I'm going to push control G and create a group. And I'm going to click this button called mask and what this does is anything inside this group is not going to go outside of the mask. So I could just you know, really freely um, just uh, color color in, uh, inside this uh, inside this character. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna probably just really quickly rough in this. Oops, why is that 99? I'm just gonna quickly rough in this uh, character. I have a few different uh, ways that I usually rough in the character, by the way. Um, sometimes I use an airbrush to rough in the character. Sometimes I use um, a lasso or fill to, to do it. So basically, I'm really trying to block in um, just the general shape of shapes and color of this character. I used to try to stay uh, really precise when I'm um, blocking in these colors, but then uh, again, I, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm just really experimenting with uh, different styles and different method of uh, coloring HJ Story. Kind of just um, as I trying to just play around and explore different styles, so I kind of change the method um, here and there. And also because um, I really, really want to try to update um, this web comic uh, as much as I can, so I really want to try to find uh, sometimes the most efficient ways that I can um, I could draw this without you know wasting time on on some of the unneeded details that people might not um, even notice. What I'm trying to do lately, I'm just trying to slowly um, uh, organize the HA store a little bit and before I forget, I actually want to um, just write a little bit more of a detail, um, uh, just stories and thought behind each of um, each of the picture. Uh, this, you know, HA story, as much as it is for my wife, is sometimes uh, actually a personal journal that I tend to, um, that I keep for myself. Um, just about uh, my thoughts in general for uh, just about everything. It might be talk a little bit about um, you know um, on the surface you know it just talks about relationship and love but 
I think uh, for me, uh, being this being a really kind of personal thing, <coughs> I'm sorry for the cough. Uh, this being a personal thing, it it ref really reflects a lot about um, just the mindset uh, that I'm I'm kind of going through, and I just thought maybe it's, it'll be kind of like a time capsule uh, down the road when I'm maybe like grand grandfather age. 70, 80, and I just could just look back and um, I, I thought it might be fun. So yeah, I would um, really strongly suggest anybody that is um, interested in drawing or just um, anything even similar to just go around and, um, you know, I'm mean, not go around what I'm talking about, uh, just to really, you know, draw your thoughts down Sometimes it's, uh, it's easier than, you know, writing. For me, I'm not really that great with, with words, especially to, um, you know, to express emotions or exactly uh, my thoughts. So uh, drawing is definitely, um, for me, it's definitely easier. So I'm starting to, uh, I'm still blocking in the colors. I'm trying to think of what color I should make this um this present right here. Maybe the ribbon should be um red. The ribbon should be red. Now what color should the box be? Trying to see, should it be a kind of white. Actually, maybe I could just make it like a beige type um, uh, color box. Or it could maybe be a, I don't know, sky blue. I think that might um, that might work well. I I could probably come in, uh, come back and just change the colors later on. So I have this uh, present. I'm not too sure of the sky blue color actually. Well, let's worry about that uh, a little bit later. So for this drawing, you know, I'm just gonna put, uh, you know, my wife was pink, and she kind of have this kind of grayish um, cardigan that she wears lately. It's totally random, useless fact. Um, she is really sensitive to the cold. She and why I'm really sensitive to the heat. So um, yeah, now that it's summertime, <clears throat> we will always have small little disagreement of whether or not we should turn the AC on. I'll be sweating and she'll be shivering kind of funny so that's why she uh, always actually carry a, a around a cardigan just to um, just so that I could uh, turn on the AC and her not freezing to death I didn't really like this gray right here it kind of made it look too kind of made her look, uh, I don't know, that it didn't look too right for me. So maybe just a little black shoes right here. And up to this point, you know, I think it might, you might think um, the coloring is still going a little bit uh, slowly and it's going to move uh, a lot faster once, um, once I get this part ready, uh, this basic color. The hardest part uh, in this drawing is to really um, set up this initial sketch and just uh, cleaning up. Cleaning up the drawings. Because after, um, after I, I'm done 90% of the painting, after I've, I'm done filling in the colors and doing the rendering, uh, it really depends, um, but I would spend a, a various amount of time just, uh, cleaning up the drawings because, um, yeah, just to make it look good. There's no because. 
I'm not really sure what I was trying to say. So hopefully in this picture, um, I spent enough time at the beginning, uh, just kind of tightening up the line line art, line work, so I don't really have to spend too much time uh, just cleaning it, cleaning it up. So here's the pink dress. I'm just uh, picking colors from the previous drawing so that um, the colors really matches each other. Oops, here's the here's the ear. Did I forget it? Aha, uh -huh, I forget up here as well. Okay, now um, this general general setup is uh, is somewhat complete. Now it's time for me to make a rendering, and I'm gonna add a multiply, and I'm gonna just do general shadow for this character. I'm using a kind of like a, a airbrush for uh, for this character right now but then usually I would um, I'm probably gonna go back and just uh, use a little bit more hard harder type setting. This again is just to really give me a, give me the general uh, general lighting. So this part uh, there's not really a really you know a specific way to to explain this process, uh, other than that, you know, I'm just putting in the, um, you know, the shadow for this character. Just to give it that, uh, you know, that's just to give it the three-dimensional form. Here we go. So you see how the drawing is just slowly coming together is a uh, bit by bit. So this head is gonna cast a little bit of shadow onto the body. And this dress, a little bit of cast shadow on her feet. And actually, you know what? I'm going to give her a little shadow at the side of the face. So same thing with this one. I'm going to move a little bit faster. Gonna be our cover in shadow from the uh, from the present. So here's the main character just kind of strolling along and walking away after giving the present. Filling in the shadow. And sometimes um, the shadow looks a little bit too um, too soft. So what I would kind of do in this case is I'm going to use a little bit of a different brush and I'm just going to just paint through a little bit of the shadow just to um, just to add a little bit more of um, kind of brush work to this. So not everything is just super soft. And how you render a shadow, by the way, is just um, you know it's everybody's uh, different preference. 
you know, uh, you might kind of prefer this uh, softer look, then, um, you know, by all means, go for it. Or you might want to totally render something different. Uh, the key is really just to experiment on the drawings. A little bit of shadows here. A little cast shadow here. Sorry if this part of the narrative sounds a little bit um more quiet than uh the previous. This one's this step is actually uh one of the important step that I have to make sure I get right so or else it might look a little bit strange you know for you know for HJ store you know even though it's, I talk a lot about just uh my thoughts on you know relationship and everything I just wanna um, you know put it on paper that um, that I actually have no clue how how relationship is supposed to work you know what's the best way to handle things I, I'm really just learning every day um, sometimes I get emails of people asking me questions about um, a, s a specific relationship you know, if you really um, know me I'm I'm actually a big goof and I probably screw up more than any one of you folks um that's watching this right now I I just like totally make like I make tons of stupid mistakes I probably drive my wife crazy sometimes um um yeah I think it's every day is a really big uh learning process for me so yeah I just want to confess about that just in case I uh, you know made the wrong impression um, uh, from the website now uh, there's a, little, a few little parts uh, especially uh, that I notice when I'm drawing this that I need to touch up a little bit and it's, it's actually the eyes the eyes uh, and some of the some of the mouth area um, even though it kind of looked clean when, uh, on pay, uh, when I was sketching it it kind of looks a little bit too dark, uh, too light now that I added colors. So again, this these little parts are again uh, little touch-ups that I have to do um, in the middle, just to make sure that it looks good. Now the part, <laughs> the funny thing is the part that I actually love most about putting in um, in H J Store is actually the blush of the of the face I'm gonna add a little bit of multiply and just choose a really soft pink I have no idea where I like why I like adding the brush to the face it's kind of it kind of makes it seem a little bit more colorful the the character just seems a little bit uh, more more lively before um, until the colors is in you know there's a lot of um, you know the color might be looking a little bit bland so I put in this um, It's really simple colors on top, and then again, I'm gonna fill in the blush of this character's face. For me, it um, this part adds a lot of life to um, to the comic. And, you know, just adding the brushes, I don't know, maybe it's just my uh, preference uh, for these colors. Uh, it feels a lot more um, alive. And I'm going to add uh, overlay. And this is one uh, of the final kind of finishing touches that I usually add to my um, HA Story drawing. I have this overlay where I use a little bit kind of like orange uh, type colors. 
and I just kind of go over that general um, image. It kind of gives us, um, I'm not really sure if you can really see uh, properly in here, but it kind of gives a kind of like a warmish tone to the whole, um, uh, to, the, uh, to the areas that I put the, um, that I put the uh, orange overlay on. So kind of make this having this uh, small little glow uh, to this image. Now let me just see uh, what I have to add. Oh yeah, um, the other part I kind of like uh, adding um, is a little details to um, to the HJ story. For example, right here I probably want to add a little bit of a uh, pattern to my T-shirts. So just uh, just using a brush. I don't usually do it too little details so I, I just kind of add in these uh, really simple patterns let's see I was just wearing this t-shirt today but I kind of forgot exactly what is um what type of uh, pattern is on here I just remember it has a lot of little um, text on top but yeah just um, these little little details it's just actually kind of fun to do for me And again, I, I kind of on purposely don't you know don't try to do everything uh, super um, super detail. Yeah, it kind of lose the look of the image sometimes a little bit. So here's my kind of jeans with the little uh, cut off short short area. And just to maybe add a little bit of pockets here. This little details here and there just makes a lot of difference to the to the drawing. Let's see, uh for my wife's character, um there's actually not as much fun things to add. Uh the the, the clothing itself actually is just a uh, very uh plain simple colors. Maybe I could just make up a little bit of pattern. I know that her top didn't really have too much patterns. But just uh, simple stripes I think would be fun as well. Maybe give her a little bit of uh, red shoes. Now time to throw in the word thank you right here. Thank you. I kind of chose this topic also uh, for this video. I just um, I mentioned before, but I can't mention it enough. I want to th really thank everybody, um, you know, for the kind comment towards this um, HA story, and it's been really helpful and supportive for uh, a lot of things. Rotate this a little bit, and maybe right. partially of the thank you note here. Here we go. Um we're almost done here. Just um a few little things to uh wrap it up. I'm gonna put uh put in put in the shadow of the uh of the ground here. It's a little bit too dark. I'm gonna uh, lighten it just a little bit. 
and I usually just do a kind of like a motion blur on it so it doesn't really look it's like a total ellipse that I use the tool with so here we go um, there's a shadow from a wife a shadow really makes a lot of difference but well for me um, in terms of making a character really seem like um, they're standing um, in an actual space so right here I'm gonna erase um, actually I'm, you know I'm gonna duplicate this uh, group I'm gonna erase these question marks and I'm gonna actually kinda just draw it a little bit neater again cleaning up the sketch just a little bit more some some areas you know is coming uh, is coming outside What I sometimes do at the fine, uh, also as a final touch of the drawing is, uh, sometimes for these edges that um, that I'm kind of not really too happy with, for example, for example, this hair I kind of want it to be a little bit more uh, smooth and round. I'll probably cut, just come back and just kind of really paint um, these areas a little bit cleaner it might seem like really little you know a little minor detail but um sometimes um when I finished cleaning up all the line that actually uh, makes a little bit of a difference so I'm just adding a little bit of uh, detail for this box that right here yeah, erasing some of these lines uh, this step um, this step what I'm doing right now I'm not gonna do it uh, for the whole drawing but I just want to mention that this um, this whole cleanup step is sometimes actually takes a long time to, it might take um, as, as long as the draw as long as the drawing itself um, depending on how much exactly how much I want to clean up before um, I think this drawing the initial sketch was um, somewhat okay so it didn't really need as much time uh, for this this part of the cleanup process so I'm just gonna uh, touch up on some of these these hair areas oops rotating pictures Oh, by the way, um, I think someone has asked. Uh, I do use a stylus uh, Wacom tablet for uh, for drawing the pictures. And this is a good chance to touch up the shape of the face a little bit as well. So I don't get in trouble with my wife for making her face kind of too puffy. Here we go. Just bear with me for another perhaps five minute and this drawing should be pretty much done. Clean up the box a little bit more and the stress. And the last character.
Okay, um, almost, almost. I'm rotating the canvas sometimes just so that I could, um, so that easier for me to draw too. Sometimes uh, using a, it's like drawing on real paper. You sometimes need to rotate the sketchbook. Same thing for a tablet. There's some some positions that's just easier than um, than others. Here we go. Let's just add a little bit of a smoke proof kind of. Kind of showing him just hopping away from it. Oops, where is this group that I just did? Okay, now just to kind of zoom out, um, this drawing is uh, basically done. You know, I might, I might go ahead and add, you know, little bits um, stuff here and there. For example, um. I might add a little bit of a pattern to her dress depending. But for now, um I think it looks okay. Let me just uh do a one last check. And and actually um I think this this is basically it for for this drawing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap it up and finish up the drawing uh, with the you know the official logo of the AC story so um, I could officially take this um, to to completion so right here I'm gonna put love is dot 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 <clears throat> And right here, I'm going to put the, yeah, this is a boring part, I know. But, you know, <clears throat> since I did say I'll walk everyone through the beginning uh, and the end of the whole process of this creation, so let's bear with me till the um, very end. H.A. Story right here. Yeah, this um this line right here that I put at the middle. It sometimes it takes me a while to think of a, a you know just for good way to um, write this. Like I'm not really that good with uh, uh, with word like I mentioned. So this sometimes um takes me forever thank you uh, just because uh, thank you just for being you just for being you might might sound a little bit better So hopefully, um, you could kind of understand um, this this drawing. Now let me see. Uh, there's uh, one last small touch just to wrap this up. Actually, um, I just realized that I have the actual official logo part. Um, here load it here so I could just actually uh, just copy it uh, copy this part over I didn't really have to um, type it before you know you notice that I wrote family is uh, for anyone viewing this 
uh, this video. It's, part, it's the first time that I. It's kind of like a tiny sneak pre preview for. She was that. I just copy. Um, I think I copy another pic that, picture that I was working on um, before. But yeah, the, um, this family is is kind of another series that I'm slowly, really slowly trying to plan to get um, uh, get done. And that part is really to, to dedicate it for my uh, uh, for my family, for my parents, and just for everyone I care. As I start growing older, um, you know, I learn to really appreciate these uh, little things that happen around me that I, you know, that I never really appreciate when I was younger. And there's just a lot of things, especially, um, you know, for my parents that um, that I feel that I really want to talk. Uh, I should have let them know. But you know how it is. It's kind of hard to talk to parents, so. Yeah, adding hearts to any pictures, well, for HD story always, always helps a little bit to make it a little bit more warm and fuzzy. Here we go. I think. Um we are done this picture of thank you just for being you for just being you just for being you for just be actually I think I, I should put for just being you see I'm so bad with grammar oh my goodness for just being you and thanks so much for um, sticking with me till the end of this tutorial I, I know it's been kinda long and hopefully those will kinda give you a little bit of um insight of how um, I draw this image and yeah um, again if you don't know the website you know just check out hjstory.com hj-story.com I'm planning to slowly um, revamp the site just so I could uh, kind of um, update a little bit easier and just for easier to for first time readers to kind of check out the site and my email be shown here and you know feel free to send me any email of any questions or whatsoever you know I didn't really put out um, talk a lot, um, a lot of detail you know about um, the personal you know stuff that some of you might be wondering just because I just kind of really want to leave um, uh, the whole story of H.G. Story to the image itself and not really get related too much uh, personally uh, to who I am and um, you know those aren't really important as well so hopefully uh, you'll keep following the drawing and feel free to send me any idea and thanks a lot again for um, watching this video and also for the continuous support I'll see everybody around with the next update